Good day, Dino friends. Today I am back in Parkosaurus. That's right. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember this game, but exactly two years ago, I made one video about this game and then I don't know what happened. I think I was playing other games and this game wasn't so popular. So I just played other games and now I feel kind of bad because I did play this game by myself a little bit more last year and I had so much fun. So that's why today I have decided the game has now been out for exactly two years. So let's see what it's like now because I think it is actually a really good game. I know everyone is playing Jurassic World Evolution right now, but I think this game is actually maybe just as good. I've played this game and I had so much fun, so that's why I've decided let's just make some videos about this. Um, actually kind of late, I'm recording this today, so I'm just going to have to uplo upload this right away. So this is going to be a short video. Maybe I can show you around the park that I built when I was playing by myself. So let's see, here it is from the top. As you can see, it wasn't done yet. There's still at least four things that I was going to make that weren't finished. This was like half a year ago or longer. So I'm sorry if I forgot what everything is. I don't really know what everything is. Here we have big herbivores. Here we have some more. In this game, you have a lot of different biomes. So if you have slightly more trees in one place than the other, then it already counts as like a different place and different dinosaurs dinosaurs need to go there so that's why you can see that some look the same or similar like these two look kind of similar but because they have a different type of grass this one is swamp and this one is something else and yeah that's why i needed so many enclosures and i was going to make some more but then i got caught up with other things let's see you're doing a great job oh, thank you thank you ali Thank you, bless you. I appreciate that, man. So, maybe we should have a look around in the park that I made. Because I like going looking around in first person mode. You can just walk around and you can see everything. Also, I think I said this last time, but you guys probably forgot. This game was only made by one or two people. I forgot if it was one or two. Um, so that is actually amazing because this game is really good. So you start at the parking lot. Everyone is wanting to get in. I think I made the entrance free. I think I made the entrance free, so that's why everyone wants in. It's free. You only have to pay for other things. Um, so yeah, here you get in. Beautiful entrance. So here, actually around the entire park, there's one path for the employees only. So they can go through the back door and they don't have to go walk where the visitors are. Okay, so here is the first enclosure. As you can see, I have stegosauruses, triceratops, and some sauropods. I don't know what that is. Maybe supposed to be brachiosaurus. In this game, it's kind of hard to tell if they're supposed to be uh, what dinosaur everything is because they're, they look a little bit silly. And I think that's the reason why a lot of people don't play this game. They think maybe it's for little kids because it's so bright. Um... But I actually love that. I don't know why. I just love bright colors and a lot of light. And I love all of that. And the happy music and the happy sounds. And it feels like it's made for kids. But it's not. Once you're playing it, it's actually quite uh, confusing. For me, it's actually one of the best park managing games, I guess. Theme park uh, games that I ever played. Anyway, um, here I tried to make a little bit like a Main Street kind of in Jurassic World, like how you have Main Street, and I put a lot of like uh, food places and shops. And as you can see, a lot of people have balloons. Really? You have this balloon? There's dinosaur shaped balloons. Why would you get this one? Why would you get that balloon if there's like Triceratops shaped balloons? Okay, you can even get your picture taken, and then you will look like Ollie. The Stegosaurus. Um, let's just look at the next. Okay, and then here the tour actually starts. So at the end of the main street, I wanted to put a science building, just like in Jurassic World. But in this game, the science buildings are kind of small. So I'm sorry that it's so small. Hello, Mr. Scientist. Um, oh, it's getting dark. Okay, I will continue tomorrow because I didn't learn much about lighting yet. So my park gets really dark at night. No, lost balloons. And we are back. Where am I? Okay, 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 okay. We are back. It is morning again. Hello, Mr. Scientist. You had a good night's sleep? Yeah? Okay. 
good, 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 good. Okay, so you enter Parkosaurus, you have the first enclosure, Triceratops, Stegosaurus, some sauropods. Um, then we have one with, what is that, Kentrosaurus, maybe Crichtonsaurus? I don't know what these are. We have another scientist, how are you doing? These scientists are here to educate the people. They tell everybody about the dinosaurs and explain what the dinosaurs are, which dinosaurs there are. Okay, I don't know exactly what dinosaurs because I didn't play in a while. Uh, so and then here you're supposed to also see. I think here I was making like T-Rexes or something. I forgot what else I was going to make. <gasps> oh man. Okay, then. Oh, there you have Carnotaurus. There you have Carnotaurus. Ooh, one is really close to the fence. And he has a ball. Are you playing with the ball? Yeah? You like playing with the ball? Oh! Oh, you threw it at the other dinosaurs! You threw it over the fence! He actually threw the ball over the fence to the other dinosaurs. Oh, now they're playing with it. Okay, the carnivores and the herbivores playing together. That's actually funny. Okay, I don't think this has more than just carnivores. Oh, the other one has a hat. Yes, yes. Oh, it has a Roman helmet. Look at that. That looks kind of funny. <laughs> I forgot I put some hats on some of them. Okay, then we have this enclosure, which has, let's see, some kind of ankylosaurid. Uh... I forgot what each one is, I'm sorry. Okay, you guys will probably know. We'll, we'll learn later what everyone is, because in the next episode we'll just start again from scratch. I want to make this into like a really good series and not care so much about the views, because last time I played it I was like, oh, this game isn't so popular. But I don't want to care that much about it, because I want to play it because it deserves it, because it's just a good game. I want to play it uh, even though everyone else is playing Jurassic World Evolution. Because I think this game is just so fun. Look at- are you, are you happy playing with the ball? Look at it! Look at it! He's so happy! This park is actually- I'm surprised how good this park is because I didn't play for a while and I thought I'll check my old park and I remembered it being really bad. But all the dinosaurs are like 100% healthy, 100% happy, etc. They're like perfect. Everything is perfect. So I don't know how I did that. Wait, are these T-Rexes? Oh, maybe I already had T-Rexes, or maybe Albertosaurus, you also have Alberto Al Albertosaurus. Oh, and I forgot the raptors on the other side, on this hill. Wait, are the raptors escaped? Oh god, okay, there you are. Hello. I don't know if it's supposed to be a raptor, I'm not sure what this is supposed to be. It has a little bit on its head. It likes to be in the tall grass, so maybe it is a raptor, I don't know. The game still has a few bugs, I noticed them from time to time, so that mission was supposed to say what it is. But instead, accidentally just said challenge. <laughs> oh, look at how shiny! Did you just get cleaned? Are you being cleaned? That one was being cleaned. Oh, and now that one's getting cleaned. <gasps> look how shiny! Look how shiny. Uh, I forgot what... Is that Kentrosaurus, maybe? I don't know. I always forget which one is Kentrosaurus. It's, I know it has, it's spiky. And of course, Parasaurolophus in here. I hope they're not sick anymore because one got sick. Uh, then here we have, I think the blue one is supposed to be Shantungosaurus. They broke out because I swear to God, someone, a, a visitor actually broke the fence. I didn't know they could do that. That is so rude. Just a visitor broke the fence and then the dinosaurs escaped. And then here, my last enclosure has actual Spinosaurus. Look at it. So beautiful. Oh my God. I love this game. I actually feel guilty for not playing this game uh, because I only made like one kind of bad episode one time. I might put it just on hidden because I'm ashamed of that episode and we'll just restart, refresh this series and even if no one will watch it, I will still play it because I just love this game and I hope you guys are excited and I think that is the end of the tour. Yeah, then you walk around here, then here's an exhibit uh, enclosure here. Here and here and here I made a little quarantine area for one dinosaur that got sick, but it didn't work. You're just supposed to make them better on the spot. Oh, the guard has caught a thief. Good job, Rikulusa. The workers all have such weird... Look at my workers' names. We have Wallax, Teguz, Sikon, Sikon... Those are not people names. Those are like curses. Those are like spells or something in Latin. Okay, Chan is a name. Kaladas... Eat it. If there's an H behind it, it's a name, right? One of my guards is literally called L L L L. Is that are those L's or capital I? I cannot tell. He's literally called L L L. That's his name, L L L. I'm just going to call you L L L. Okay. 
Anyway, that is the end and it's also getting night again. That is the end of this park, at least for now, because in the next episode, I'll just be restarting and we'll just do the tutorial again, even though I think I know, still know the basics, but I just want to do this right. I want to make this series right and not like last time, make one kind of bored episode and then not play it again because this is a really good game and it is much cheaper than Jurassic World Evolution but for a park manage managing game it has a lot of features even a lot that Jurassic World doesn't have so yeah I definitely think you should try this out if anyone is thinking about buying it don't think it's for kids just because it's so colorful because it is actually really challenging oh you cannot go in this door <laughs> there's a tree <laughs> okay cannot go in here. Okay, now I'll need to fix that. Oh, can I cheat here? Parkour. Oh, totally did it. Wait, I, I'm on the wall now. I'm on the wall. Oh, this is a beautiful view. This is a beautiful view. Okay, I think it's... Lady, are you in the trash? Okay, don't go in the trash now, okay? Um. Anyway... That is the end. I just wanted to make a little announcement that we'll be playing Parkosaurus on this channel. Um, and I think I will see you guys in the next episode. And then we'll just be playing the tutorial. And then we'll do all the challenges because there are challenges. Hang on. Save. I think I did... Yeah, here's the beautiful world map. I love it. It looks so cool. It looks so cool. Um, I actually did like half of the world map once before by myself, but I can reset it. So I will totally reset the world map and we'll start with the tutorial. Then I don't think it matters which order you do these. So I start here maybe and then here and then you earn rocket ship points. And then you move on to South America, Africa, Eurasia and then Australia for some reason is the most challenging one. And New Zealand. I love this map so much. I love the little planes and everything. There's whales, I think. Yeah, there's one. There's one right now. Anyway, that's the end of this video. I just wanted to make a little announcement that I'll be playing this game. I hope you're excited. I think at any time we should be building some kind of dino park on this channel. And we'll just do Parkosaurus now. And then we'll do some Roblox. And maybe then we'll do some Jurassic World Evolution. And yeah, at any point we should have at least one dino park building series going, I think. So let's do Parkosaurus now. And let's see how long it takes. I wonder how long it takes. Okay, that's enough rambling. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to stomp like a dancer.